All right, guys, welcome to Talking About Finance. It's Saturday, May 22nd. Today, we're going to talk about something very fascinating, inflation. And more properly, we're going to talk about how inflation is measured in the United States. It's done by a metric called CPI, or the Consumer Price Index, and I'm sure you've heard of it. Now, I live in the UK, and I'm very careful with the money because you don't get rich by tossing it out the window. It's uh, an investment banking thing. Make lots of money, save lots of money. Now, I track our living expenses in spreadsheets, just like I'm showing you here, and I've been doing this for well over 20 years. I tend to aggressively cut costs, review costs. I can tell you in the UK, the official CPI data is roughly 2%. Our personal rate of inflation is closer to 11%. When I take a look at this spreadsheet for 2020, April, it's running roughly 11%, the inflation rate. So let's take a look at US CPI. Now, I hear from lots of friends in the States and my family as well, that CPI, the official data, is way off target. Let's try to get an idea why that might be the case. All this data I'm going to show you is sourced from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. I've shown you the site right there. They're pretty open about the composition of CPI, which is cool because you'd expect transparency from a government organization. And all I've done is capture the data in the spreadsheet. I've processed it slightly to make it a little bit more easy to understand. And I've prepared some charts for you guys. So let's get into it. Now, this is what I call the CPI pie, or it's the components of the consumer price index. Now, we'll start from energy. You can see that accounts for 7% of the official inflation statistic in the States. Food counts for roughly 14%. And I've rounded these off. It's actually 13.96 for food, and I can't, can't recall what energy was. The big bucket is all items without food and energy factored in. That's some 79%. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's start off with energy. Now, we can see the various items that comprise the energy component of CPI, and all I've done is I've uh, allowed you to see the weightings. So fuel oil carries 1%. It's not 1% inflation number. It's 1% weight. Utility or natural gas, 4%. Electricity, some 14% of the overall 7% CPI number. Energy services, 18%. Gasoline, 20%. Motor fuel, 21%. And energy commodities, 22% of the overall CPI number. All right, taking a look at food, guys. Look, dairy-related products, 4%. Non-alcoholic beverages, 4%. Cereal, bakery products, 5%. Fruits and veg, you got to get your five portions a day, as we say in the UK. That's a 6% weighting. Meats, poultry, fish, basically animal protein, some 8%. Other food at home, 9%. Food away from home, restaurant meals, 29%. And finally, food at home, some 36%. Now you can start to get an idea about why CPI may not apply to you. For instance, if you refuse to eat in restaurants, as some of my friends do, bad case of food poisoning years ago, that 29% contribution to food inflation will not count for them at all. Same thing for my vegan friends. They refuse to eat animal protein, some 8%. I'm not sure if there's a crossover, but if my vegan friends refuse to eat in restaurants, that's 37% of food inflation will not apply to them. Now you can start to see about why CPI doesn't really apply to most people. And finally, let's look at the big bucket, all items, less food and energy. Now, I'm, I'm not going to try to read this. It's, I can barely make it out. I'm going to present the data a little bit differently. Now, here we go, guys. Let's get a look at the detail. Remember, this is about 79% of CPI. Airline fares, tobacco, zero, less than, less than 1%. Alcoholic beverages, motor vehicle maintenance, medical care, commodities, motor vehicle insurance, physician services, hospital services, all carry a 1% weighting. Used cars and trucks, apparel, new vehicles, carry a 2% weighting. Transportation services, 3% weighting. Medical care services, rent of primary residence, both carry a 4% weighting. Commodities, not related to food and energy, 11% weighting. Owner's equivalent rent, 14%. Shelter, 19%. And services, less energy services, some 34%. Now, in a later video, I'm going to go deeper into this and start to give you an idea about why CPI is so darn misleading, but you probably got a good idea now.